Hello everyone, I welcome you to Box One Media. Please if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell to be notified anytime we upload a new video. Today we at Box One Media. The story room to bring you a very nice story to push up your day with laughter. Because a day without laughter is full of mist. I go by the name, Bra Bosco Jr. and I titled my story, Free Pussy, Free Pregnancy. And it's episode 1 of the story room. In this episode, Bosco met some beautiful babes, ladies, Gina, Tina, and Benedicta. And his mind was always busy thinking about them. Sometimes he messed up with his dad, Mr. Gabriel, because of putting his mind busy thinking about these ladies. Without wasting much time, let's get started but please for relaxing, grab a drink, and cooling yourself on a chair while the story began. Subscribe, like, and share. Let's start. As I looked back that day to sound of my name called by a voice. Bosco. I saw some beautiful ladies that I couldn't identify because the distance between us was dead far. I replied by waving my hands at them while they did the same. I feel like moving towards them to know who they are but I was being sent on an errand by my father. Later, I shouted. I was feeling like why is it that girls like my name as I was moving down to Justice House which is not so far from our house. I was on my way back home the day after I delivered my dad's message to Justice when I saw those ladies that called me the other time, to my surprise I didn't know any of them. I greeted them and they were like. So you don't know us again? Please no, I replied. We were the ones that took pictures with you at Jaden's palace. Gina answered. I'm sorry, I still can't remember you people. I replied. You don't need to, anyway my name is Tina. I am Gina. I'm Benedicta. You've all got a nice name and please what can I do for you? Actually, we saw how you performed at that show and we loved it. So we decided to invite you to a birthday party. And please, who is the person celebrating the birthday? It's Benedicta. Wow! You know what? I'm busy right now, let me give you my phone number and please give me a call. Tina gave me a phone which I don't know how to operate. I returned the phone to her by telling her to type it that I'm gonna call it for her. 05 59 I mentioned. Thank you, Bosco. We'll give you a call as soon as possible. Bye bye, they said. As I was going home, those babes got all my mind away. Let me describe them to you. Gina is short, black, and has a very sexy ass with something big front. Benedicta's complexion was light, her back is full of temptation and has a crazy height. I hope you got me can't forget about Tina, she's chocolate, not that fat but huge, if you know what farmers do refer to as bumper harvest, she is the type, she's tall, but not that tall, she carries front and back hellfire, everything just gathers for there. As I got home, my mind was still busy thinking about them, which got me into trouble. Where's that Bosco? My dad asked. I haven't seen him, my little brother replied. So I sneak out of the house, because I know that I'm in a dead soup, then I summon the courage to go back inside. As I opened the gate, I saw something that shocked me. Mr. Gabriel called me in the morning to clean his shoes and wash his car. As I laid my hand on the shoes, he called me back to quickly go to Justice, my dad's friend, house to collect money from the man. I didn't know that I have spent up to 40 minutes in the place that I can use only 2 minutes. Due to those girls I met on my way, and the foolish thought I was thinking in my room. The thing that shocked me was that the shoes my dad asked me to clean were sacked in water, by my little brother. I was like is this boy mad or crazy? As I entered my dad's living room, I saw him sitting in his armchair, I was like why do I answer these girls? Now see what they have brought me into. And he said. Go and kneel down in my room. I'm sorry, Daddy. Please I won't let it happen again. Dad, forgive me, you know I haven't done such things like this before. This all I said before saw myself in an ocean of slaps. The way I will beat you today, 
You will never forget it in your whole life, not even you died. I was weeping and rubbing my hands together to plead for mercy. You said you won't listen to me, right? I will beat the hell out of you. Say by my dad. All I could do was to cry as I knelt in his room. He laid down on his bed. For an hour I was still on my kneel, so I tapped his leg, to my surprise. Dad was in the middle of the dream. He slept off deeply. What kind of rubbish is this? That was what came to my mind. I ran and hid in my wardrobe. I was really angry that I shouted at my mom when she called me. As I brought my phones out from where I hide them, I saw some missed calls. On my first phone. 12 missed calls from Mr. Gabriel, my dad, when he sent me on errand. 8 missed calls from Queen, 8 minutes ago, on the other phone. 2 missed calls from my daddy, long ago, 1 missed call from mummy, an hour ago, 4 missed calls from an unknown glow number, 22 minutes ago. 2 missed calls from an unknown MTN number, 3 minutes ago, I decided to go out to my mum's shop to collect recharge card on credit, mum, please give me glow 100 ganacetus. Have you forgotten that you shouted at me? My mom said. Mummy please, don't mind me, that your husband who makes me angry. Mummy hissed and gave me the card and asked where is my money? I will give it to you later. I ran inside my room and as I carried the phone, I saw another two missed calls from that empty and unknown number. As I was loading the recharge cards, the number called again and said, It's Ned Bosco. I didn't answer. And she asked again. Are you there? This time around, I coughed. You ain't serious, she said. Please who is this I am speaking with? Who did you give your number to this morning? You see, that's why people fail weck. What's your name? Anyway, sweetheart, I'm Gina. She said. I'm sorry please, I didn't know you were the one. Apology accepted. Thank you, dear. Please let me call you back. Okay, she replied and end the call. Chai. Why am I this foolish? That I said I will call her back. Questioning myself. As I load the recharge card I bought, the glow number called. It's me, Tina that collected your number this morning. She said. Okay, and please why is your voice this sweet? I asked. And she said. Have you added comedy to your song? Don't mind me. I replied, and why you didn't answer my call the other time, she asked. I was playing with my dad and my phone wasn't with me. I replied. I'm daddy's pet. Thank you. You know what? Let me call you back now. Okay, she said and end the call. I sharply saved their numbers with their name. I saved Gina with Gina and Tina with Tina. Then I dialed my queen's number, and she didn't even allow it to ring before picking it. She said, Hello darling. My only lovely wife, how are you doing today? I'm good and you? Am. Um, as I wanted to talk, I saw my door opened and it was my dad who stands behind the door and staring at me. Haha, -ha, Bosco is something else. This is the end of episode 1 and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for a team up with us, Box 1 Media. Please subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget to share. Episode 2 coming soon. Turn on the notification bell to be notified anytime we upload a new video. Box 1 Media, The Story Room. More life, more laughter. Stay safe.